good. I don't know if that's being scared by the news. Yeah. So before we start, I have something to give to all of you. So this uh, weekend we have a performance. <laughs> so yeah, there is a show on this weekend, and you can see I'm in the picture. So please come to the show. And Now, hold this picture and then you turn it back, and then, then we are going to use this space because today we are going to do some creative, creative works. Okay? So, before we start, we're going to do a quick review. Last time we talked about uh, lava movement analysis. Lava movement. Someone can tell me what kind of elements we have, we talk. Salt. B. I give a little tip. A uh, little tip. B, E, S, S, R. What is B? Oh, body. <laughs> yeah, we do a quick review. And the E is, we spend a lot of time talking about it. E and S. Shape. Shape. Wow, great. Oh. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> right? Actually, we need space and R. Relationship. Okay, so this kind of these five elements constitute lava movement analysis. And we spend a lot of time talking about the F words. So we talked about time, dynamics, time dynamics, um, role, and weight. So today we mentioned this before because we are going to learn because we're going to learn the day. Does someone know what this means in this word? Yes. No. No. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it's like how you to create, how you produce the work. Like, uh, you know, when we move, you're going to see, like, you're going to see a whole piece. So there's a process. The process is, we call this choreography. You can say choreography. Uh, yeah. VHY. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Today we're going to learn some elements about uh, the basic choreography elements. And before we start, I don't want to do the normal way to tell you, okay, those kind of things you can use to create a piece. And that's it's not our purpose today. Today we're going to use this to create something. And then you will go through, okay, actually they have something. It's related to the choreography. So, first things, can I have a volunteer who wanted to read this sentence? Just, just read the sentence? Yeah, just read the sentence. How is it? The sky today is blue, no fog today, loneliness always turns into the... or craving. Craving. Craving, sorry, craving for food. Thank you, that's great. So Mia, okay, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> can, you just, can you just try to like uh, make sure when you read, like uh, repeat what you just read? What? Can you just try it? Just repeat? Yeah. yeah. Try to like mimic the tongue and uh, the turn, the the timbre of the sentence you just read. 
The sky today is blue. craving for food. Okay, now because I just did a really, really quick like nose to measure. Okay, I think me yeah, like a uh, increase here and then decrease the tone for here and then maybe stress this. So Mia, yeah, can you try it again? Like it's just repeat. The sky today is blue. No fog today. Loneliness always turns into the craving for food. So now, back to everybody. What you're going to do is try to repeat what Mia just read. Can we try it together or everybody together? Mm -hmm. Everybody? Okay. So one, two, three, go. The sky today is blue. No fog today. Loneliness always turns into the craving for food. I think here it is for food. Right? So, now, a little bit of question. What do you think? So when you are mimicking or repeating someone's sentence, what you are trying to catch? What kind of things you need to pay attention? Like, uh, uh, Which one you think it could be matched for here? Space. Space. Wow, someone's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think? Then think about what is. 